Okay, so I just had my first wedding dress fitting. It went really well. The place is so beautiful. Um, I'll put a photo up because I clearly didn't get one at the time, but I walked in there being quite nervous about the whole thing. And then afterwards, like, I think it was a complete success and that I've likely found my dress, which is very exciting. So I'm just gonna go grab a salad and get back to work. Okay, so I'm back from my dress fittings and from picking up a salad. So I'm in my home office. I just thought I'd quickly show you my desk set up right now um, and then have my lunch. Okay, so here's my desk right now. I just thought I'd quickly show you. Here's the delicious salad I got. So I go close to that. Yum, look at all those greens. I try and have greens, leafy greens every day for lunch. Um, glass of water always. I always have pencils and pens available. I like plants, so I have like my little cactus succulent um, and my computer. And this is like my folder with what I'm currently working on. So anything I need to print out and highlight and mark off, um, I keep in here. And then I have some fabric samples over here, which is very exciting for something I'm working on. And then I like to keep my multivitamins on my desk so I remember to have them daily um, I put some tiger balm on my back last night and yeah that's my current setup today so I typically eat my lunch at my desk just because like it's a good chance for me to sit down and read emails or have a look at um, news or catch up on things I don't really need to go have a break often in the day I'll have gone for a walk today I went and had my bridal dress fitting appointment then I'm gonna to go to salad so I've already been away from the desk so I already feel like I need a lot to catch I have a lot to catch up on um, and the thing that I do which is really good for my mornings is I don't deal with emails until at least lunchtime because if I look at them in the morning I am working to somebody else's priorities rather than my own so I don't like to jump in there and feel panicked by what somebody else has sent me that they need to get done um, and I like to address it later in my day um, usually around lunchtime I'll check in and go hey I need to get back to these people or send some stuff off so um, usually when I'm having my lunch is when I sit down and I'll look at my emails hello again I've eaten lunch and ready to talk to you so um, I've got my candle burning I didn't talk about this before but whenever I sit down to work at my desk I always burn a candle it makes me feel so cozy especially at this time of year it's getting really cold so You'll see that burning on my desk pretty often. I've also been thinking a lot about my wedding dress and so I live in Canada and my mum and sister live in Australia so I live away from my family so I had to get my mum and sister's opinion on my dress so I sent them some photos of me in the shop today what I was wearing so looking forward to hearing their feedback. Anyway I wanted to get into talking to you guys about passive income and how I've managed to achieve passive income and what that looks like and hopefully it gives you guys some inspiration or ideas for how to generate your own passive income. What passive income is is something that has little to no maintenance requirement to generate the income and it can have a snowball effect over time. Whereas your salary, for example, that's a pure time swap. So when you're earning a salary, you're swapping your time for your income. Let me just show you how I have created passive income on my website. Okay, so I'm at my desk and I want to give you an example of one of the products I've created to create passive income. I have what is called a bloggers and influencers guide to pitching brands ebook. From my experience of having a blog and working with brands and then also being on the other side of things where I am the brand and I'm reaching out to influencers, I've developed a lot of knowledge about how that process works. So I thought that's knowledge that I can share with people and they may want to learn from. So I've put everything I know together in an ebook and made it available for purchase on my website. I've also created Instagram story templates and you know this is stuff I use in my own business and I thought hey like if I'm using these templates every day there must be other people who would benefit from them so I thought why don't I make them into a product and make them available on my website for others to use so I'll put you back there so I can talk so what makes these products passive on my website is that I've had to make them once just one time it required more work up front and I sat down and put everything I knew down and then created these products so now I've loaded them onto my website. It's very little or no maintenance for me because 
I don't have to pack them. I don't have to ship them. Um, I do marketing efforts, but that's not very frequently. And so over time I can have sales for these products with very little maintenance and they fulfill themselves. So when somebody presses purchase, they are automatically given the download or a link to use these products. It's a really fun little income stream because now I've made the products, I've done the work up front, put them on the website. There's not that much more that I need to do. What I love about this income stream is that it's a low cost barrier and that it's an easy entry point. Um, all it really took me was the knowledge and my experience and things I use, computer and internet to put those things out there. I urge you to think of anything that you may have knowledge in that you may be able to share with people or that you use in your everyday that you've created for yourself that other people might need. It could be anything from how you schedule your week to planners to how to paint with watercolors. You could create templates for, um, I know that adults like to draw and color in, for example, like you could create printables for adults to color in. Um, you could create your own recipes. You could create templates for people to write down their own recipes. You may have a green thumb and have mastered growing herbs from home and want to show others how to get a herb garden. You could create an ebook and something like this. The options are really limitless and it's just a matter of dedicating the work up front and building the product and then having it up online. Everybody has a skill set. Everybody has expertise or knowledge or uses something that other people would be interested in. So you've just got to think about what those things might be. Okay. And importantly, as always, I urge you to create your own website. I'll put a link below with the website provider I use and you can use my discounted rate um, and get started because that's really what you'll need, a platform, a website, and you can load your own products and sell them online. To sell my digital products, I use WooCommerce. So I host my blog on the website provider I'll put below and then I have WordPress installed. So with WordPress, you can get a free e-commerce platform called WooCommerce and that allows you to sell products on your website. It's quite amazing and I really want you to get on board. Get onto it. Let me know if you have any questions about passive income in the comments below. If you wanna check out my passive income products, I'll leave a link in the description below. So that's my little introduction to passive income to you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so you don't miss out.